Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today, what I'm going to be showing you is how I do it for Fortnite Dance Club. A lot of you have been wondering how I get the animations into the button and stuff. We're going to be showcasing all of that today. So that is what we are going to do today. First of all, what you gotta do is you gotta search up a bunch of stuff that you would do or you would like animations for example you can search up like fortnite dances first of all make sure it's your models all right so here for example this guy just drag it into here and now what you're going to do is you have this guy so say you're on here now with this person. Go to plugins and click animation editor. And now it's going to ask you to select a rig. What you're going to do is collect, or you're going to select the white square. So once you click that, after that, click OK. Now you have this screen. Next, what you do is file load. Now we have a few dances on this one, like the electric. Tro shuffle. So click on that and then click the load. And it might take a while to load. In fact, you might have Roblox Studio not respond, but that and if that happens, just wait for it to. Now if we click the play, we see we have the electro shuffle here. Which is right there. So that's basically how I do it. That's the end of the video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm just kidding. That's not the end of the video. Next, what you got to do is you have to do file export. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do create new. Name it the anything you want, basically. Electro shuffle. And then click the finish. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the link there that happens. You're going to want to open up Chrome, go to Roblox. Actually, don't go to Roblox. You can put that link into the URL bar. Now we have this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to want to, like, copy this. And it might be a little lag right now. But then what you can do is you can X out of this. It's going to ask you to ask you if you really want to exit out or not. All right, so the next step here is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the starter GUI, add a screen GUI, and then add a frame. And you can customize your side for where your option dances are. So once you made that frame and you add a few text buttons or whatever for your animation, let's actually add a text button for the electro shuffle. What you can do here is you can go ahead and you can size it to your liking. So I'm going to try to make it equal to the instab button. So now look on the bottom right of your screen. You're going to have this thing. Uh, change the background color to what the other colors are, if you want. Then do, then scroll your way to text, and change it to the dance name. So, Electro Shuffle. Now what you gotta do is do text scale. Instead of finding the correct font size, you can just do that, and it will size it to the correct whatever. So now you have the button there, all done. In fact, we're going to change the name of the button to this name too. Just to be a little bit more organized. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add, to add a local script into the text button that you had. And just keep it like that. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search Orange Justice. This is how we get the correct dance animation. So drag the one you see there. 
into that. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to view the inside. See the tool here. You're going to want to view the inside of that. And now what you're going to do with this dance thing is you're going to paste the ID, which is what we had before of the what you exported. And you're going to change the name to animation one, which is exactly what you need to do. So once you have changed it to animation one, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag that all the way down and put it into the local script which we put in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to find one of these local scripts and which I have ready and it will be in the description as well. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have this local script in here. So I'm just going to put that in. Well, I'll try to just copy off of this here. So local player dot character then animation one. This is the animation which you did, which we have to name. Player humanoid colon load animation, which is loading the animation, then script dot animation one, then can emote to true. And then double enter down, so do you're on line six, and I do script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect and then function. Now you should have an end up here. Then do local emote. Equals math ran wait uh is there a period there? Yep. Math random and then one one. Do another enter and if emote two equal signs one and can emote equals true then. Wait, make sure you have a space there too. I'm just trying to test something here. Do this, the weight should be spaced out. Actually keep it close. Okay, then after the true then statement, do enter animation one. Play and two um, parentheses, then can emote no spaces between the equals here. Can emote false, and then lower pace weight two seconds, then can emote to is there a space there? And then can emote to true. And then with this end, actually, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a space here so it land so it lines up and then for some reason oh, Dana, we just exit out of our script. Alright, so this is that. It looks like we have a little shift problem there, but that's perfectly fine, guys. Should be fine, actually. But yes, that is what you should do. And now it should work. Let's take a look here. 
we have the as we have the asset ID. This should work. I think that's everything you need. To test it, go to home and click play. Now you're going to be entering the game. And hopefully this works without problems. Okay, there we go. Now you click the electro. There we go, guys. So now you have the movement with your animation with the electro shuffle. Which is perfectly how it is. And this will be in the next update for Fortnite Dance Club. Make sure to play the game. The link will be in the description. The script will also be in the description as well. You guys can just copy and paste from. And you see we got all these other ones here that work as well. And there we go, we got low back. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna try to charge it without a dime. It'll be horrible if it does because it's not used. You can watch my character floss. There we go. Alright, so there you see, and if you also select, uh, if you put a gear, you see your character will be holding it with that, with anything you do, so, this is my favorite one, take that out, restyling the twist, imp dab, if you guys want to do these, now, for some reason, after you do a few dances, it does not work. So, you're gonna just have to fix this by resetting your character. Make sure you include a text label on how to do that to your players. And now it will work again. So, yeah. That's how you do that. And now, we're going to. Yeah, that's it. If you guys want to watch, maybe the next part. I don't really think if we can do that. Uh, yeah, that'll actually be it for video today, guys. So you can size this, you can just customize it, add as much as you want, use the same script as well. So yeah, that is how I do it, guys, and how you can do a dance button for a click to dance Fortnite emote button, guys. So be sure to like the video. And subscribe. By the way, the stuff will be in the description. In fact, we'll also add a link to the Orange Justice Tool thingy, which you guys can buy. So all you have to do is search my models, and it should be right there. That's how you do that. So yes, guys, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if it if it if it doesn't work, be sure to. Comment in, in the comment section. Don't dislike the video right away because I can always fix it because you guys saw it work. This is working 2019 too. So, yeah, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Update 4 is coming to Fortnite Dance Club soon. So, bye.